How's it going guys? My name is Checker and welcome to today's video. Today we are taking a look at the worst legendary gun in Fortnite, Save the World. In this case, when I say the worst weapon in Fortnite, I mean the worst weapon for its purpose. So just because something is legendary does not automatically mean that it's a good weapon, but every weapon has a purpose and today we'll be taking a look at the worst weapon for its given purpose. So once again, here I am, a couple days late to a video, but today we are talking about the Dragonfire, the somewhat new Dragonfire. We'll be doing a very quick overview of the weapon and then putting it through the Fortnite test weapon assessment, which by the way guys, it's been like a month since I did a weapon review. Like a month, that's just insane. And totally did not want it to take that long. But anyway guys, today we are talking about the Dragonfire, the fully automatic, but almost semi-automatic, it's so slow, it is new to to this week's weekly items for 1,680 daily gold, not daily gold, gold coins stuff. But are those daily coins of magical goldness worth your, <laughs> what? I don't know why, it's, it's just Friday, I'm, I'm just, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, it's Friday. I'm done. But why is it such a bad weapon? After all, it's a legendary. It costs a lot of like fake currency. How is this not a good weapon? It's a brand new weapon. Why would they give us a bad a brand new weapon? It doesn't make any sense. Well, let's take a very quick look at it. It is extremely slow firing. Its range is just absolutely terrible. But in order to understand why this is the worst legendary in Fortnite, we first must take a look at what makes shotguns good. And taking a look at my room sweeper, one of my best shotguns in the game. We can see it has a big magazine size, a huge rate of fire, incredible damage, and also has some pretty decent range on it. The biggest features of this weapon being the rate of fire, the magazine size, and the overall DPS. Also taking a look at my bear, we can also see what makes this shotgun stand out. It does a crazy amount of damage and has some pretty good range on it too. The dragon fire? has none of those. This weapon has no notable features, nothing distinctive about it except for one little thing. The level 20 and the level 25 perks, and by the way, the perks here are going to be static. So every single dragon fire out there will have the same exact perks. And for level 20, we have plus 90% critical damage to afflicted targets. And guess what makes that a lot better? Having affliction damage. And at level 25, we have weapon damage and causes affliction damage for six seconds. So that right there is the saving grace of this weapon. So yes, there is a purpose to this weapon. And it's very up close and very personal and that's about it. But anyway guys, moving on to the Fortnite test weapon assessment, we have seven things to test this weapon on. The first being volume of fire, we are going to give it a 5 out of 10 here. It's a pretty slow gun, has a pretty small magazine, nothing special about it. Number two, moving on to damage, we are going to give it a 7 out of 10. Now I know, I know, I know. If you can use this weapon at extremely close ranges as intended, you can do some decent damage. But that's just it, you need to fit into those circumstances. That's why it gets a 7 out of 10. For number 3, the rolls, we're gonna give it a 5 out of 5. The perks here are pretty good. At number 4, longevity, we're gonna give it a 2 out of 5. And by the way, longevity is referring to how long are you gonna be using this weapon in the game. Are you going to just use it in the beginning? Are you gonna use it to the middle, to the end? And I really don't see myself or anyone else using this past maybe Stonewood. Maybe a little bit into Plankerton, but really it's not that great. Moving on to number 5, at accurate we get a 5 out of 10. It's really kind of hard to judge this weapon on accuracy as well. You just need to be so incredibly close to use it, and it just so happens to be a shotgun that has spread. But that leaves us with number 6, range. It gets a whopping 1 out of 5 here. I mean, you can't hit anything past 10 feet, so, you know, it gets a 1. And that leaves us with number 7, ammo efficiency. How quickly does it burn through ammo? Well, not too bad, so we're gonna give it a 4 out of 5 here. And that leaves us with a total FTW score of 29 out of 50. The worst scoring weapons in all of my weapon reviews thus far. By the way, don't worry, there's there's worse weapons out there. But anyway guys, that was the Dragonfire, a terrible, not very good gun in my opinion. The only time I recommend anyone to use this is if you really just need a decent shotgun. You just need a shotgun, let's say that. And maybe you're kind of earlier in the game, so you don't need the best thing out there. And trust me, this is not the best shotgun out there. So if you fit into that category, go ahead and pick it up. I do not regret picking it up, just because it's nice to have it. At the very least, I got a video review out of it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.
But are those golden coins of golden magic worth it? What the hell am I talking? I don't know why it's, it's just Friday. I'm, I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. It's Friday. I'm done. I'm done. Count me out. It's my birthday tomorrow. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done.